So before we gotta go to the Word of God, I know that everybody right here is excited to hear the message. Come on. And I know that God is a message for all of us. So I'm going to open the book, but before we're going to do that, how about can we, I invite you to just lift your hands and we're going to pray. So Father God, Lord, today we thank you, Lord, for birthing a new thing for all of us. Thank you, Lord, that today we can gather together as a church. And thank you for one year, Lord, for protecting us, for blessing us. And I know that you're going to keep on doing that for all of us, Lord, today. We praise you, Lord, for your faithfulness. We honor you, Lord, for your goodness. For every family who's here, for every person who's here, I pray, Father God, that you're going to speak to them in a very special way, and you're going to bless them in a, through the Word of God that will be preached today. So, Father God, Lord, Holy Spirit, speak to us in a fresh wind, and I know that you're here, your presence is here, and we praise and honor you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on, there you go, much better. So I gotta read the verse that we're gonna be studying for the whole month, which the series is Unstoppable. And thank God that you are unstoppable today. Nobody and nothing will stop you to come here and praise God with the church. And today, Isaiah 49 will be our verse, our chapter for the whole year. I uh, invite you, I encourage you to read it, uh, meditate on it, and claim it for your family and for your own life. So I'm going to read Isaiah chapter 49, verse 8 to 12, uh, 8 to 9. And can you join me in reading God's word? Uh, what I'm excited about the church is that uh, we're different when we are praising and worshiping. We're moving. Kaya yung mga hindi nag-exercise, you are praising God kasi now we're back at least once a week. Galaw-galaw na rin and mga pag-praise kay God na rin. Alright. So, but we're gonna read the word of God. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 8 to 9. Can you read with me? Go. God also says, when the time's right, I answer you. When victory is due, I help you. I form you and use you to reconnect the people with me, to put the land in order, to resettle families on the ruined properties. I tell prisoners, come on out, you're free, and those huddled in fear, it's all right, it's safe now. Today I'm going to be preaching the subject to you, come on out, you're free. Come on out, you're free. Isn't that a good news that you came out today because you believe you are free? Come on out, you're free. You cannot take your seat as we listen to God's word. The word of God says, when the time's ripe, I answer you. When victory is due, I help you. I form you and use you to reconnect the people with me to put the land in order, to resettle families on the ruined properties, and tell prisoners, come on out, you are free. What an amazing song that we sang today about the Holy Spirit, because I believe that the Holy Spirit has the power to set us free. You will wonder today how it is possible that God is declaring to have an unstoppable freedom where in fact some of us are still limited, some of us are still in need, some of us are still praying for something. But can I tell you guys, can I tell you church, that freedom is not just about physical freedom. It's not just about financial freedom. Who among you is believing the American can financial freedom today? All right? Who's believing among you that you have physical freedom today? But more than that, what's amazing about my God, about our God, is that He can set people free, not just physically, not just financially, but most importantly, spiritually. Which means that wherever you are, God can set you free. Okay, listen to me now so that you will understand the story and the context of this chapter. This chapter has been given to all the Israelites where they were slain to the Babylons. Sila'y sinakop ng mga Babylonia, dinela sila sa kanilang bansa, they lost the identity of them as a nation, they lost their citizenship, they suffered a lot, ang daming namatay, at sila'y naging slave ng mga Babylon, sila'y nagtatrabaho, at sila'y talagang ah, naghirap sa bansa na hindi kanila. And a crazy thing about that, ilang taon na nakalipas, God sent a promise through a person declaring to them, it's time now, you have been set free, you need 
to come out where you are because God has already given you freedom and unstoppable freedom. What I'm telling today, wherever you are, kahit nasaan ka man, in a corner, or wherever you are, kung saan ka na, na you are limited and you are restricted, God is telling you the good news that it's time now to come on out because you are free. And I, I remember a story, you need to understand this very carefully because it's possible that you are physically free or financially free but you are not spiritually free so my goal for today the reason why you have the in-person gathering for the first time is to declare to you the good news that in Jesus there is total freedom in Jesus there is unstoppable freedom that in Jesus God can set you free because here's what I believe you are not meant to be in a corner you are not meant to be in the darkness you are not meant to be limited God has blessed you to come out where you are where you are restricted where you are limited and God is telling you hey it's time for you to come out it's time for you to be living again because sino naka, uh, nakakaunawa na all these times and all these crises tayo parang limitado hindi tayo makagalaw and everything but God is telling come on I did not tell you, no, stop living. I want to tell you, you can keep on living. You can keep on dreaming. You don't cancel your dream. You keep on what God has given you. And today, I want to encourage you. Whatever is the situation where you are in right now, you are here. And I praise God that you decided to came out where you are. And you came to church to praise and honor Him because you have been set free. I remember, you know, I, you have to understand this because it's possible talaga ng isang tao po pwedeng parang mukha siyang free pero hindi naman. And I want to set people free today by the power of the Holy Spirit. I remember a story, I think this happened in Africa where they have a study about a person who has been in prison for almost 25 years. Nakakulong siya sa isang, parang siyang Bartolina at ang size niya ay ganito lang ng space. And nag-suffer siya all lot. So ang ginawa niya, nakalaya yung tao, pinalaya na, they were set free. Pero they've been subjected sa isang study. And na-discover niya, nilipat itong taong ito sa malaking bahay. May pagkain, everything, lahat binigay sa kanila. Pero amazingly, ang na-discover ng mga doctor is that that person is acting as if he is not free. Ayaw niyang lumabas sa kwarto niya, nandun lang siya sa kanyang sulo, and everything, kahit yung food, di niya na ma-enjoy. So the doctor is telling him, come on, wala na ka na sa dating lugar. Iba na tong lugar, you can come out. You can go out. Enjoy life. What God is saying to you today is that exactly the same example. You have already been set free, but you got to admit and accept and embrace that you are totally free. Can I tell you that no Christ should limit you. No situation should stop you because you are unstoppable. God's favor and God's blessing for you can never be stopped. And that is why as a church, I am believing that today, I am thankful to the Lord that God enabled us so that we can worship together as a church because I believe that it's time for us to come out, to come out from where we are and enjoy the freedom that God has given us. Is there anyone in the house celebrating that God has set you free? Oh, I'm thankful today because God is saying to us, come on out, you are free and you have an unstoppable freedom. Walang makakapigil sa Diyos para pagpalain ka. Ako nagpapasalamat kay Lord sa pag-iingat ka sa atin for the whole year at patuloy na iniingatan tayo. Natutuwa ako sa mga family na nabisita ko during pandemic na nakita ko yung difference today. I'm thankful to the Lord na during pandemic, I dedicated a lot of businesses. I dedicated mga bagong sasakyan. I dedicated mga pinagaling ni Lord. I saw mga uh, uh, equip teams and hubs paano nag-flourish at maraming naabot sa Panginoon. And I'm thankful to the Lord that no situation can stop our church. I am thankful to the Lord na nagpapatuloy tayo. And I'm thankful to the Lord na walang makakapigil kay God para pagpalain ka. 
Ang maaaring magpigil lang yan ay ikaw. If you settle in a corner na tinanggap mo na, na sinabi mo na sarili mo, hindi, hanggang dito na lang ako. Ah, hanggang dito na lang ang pamilya namin. But today, I'm telling you right now, God is telling you, you are not meant just to be in that situation. God is pulling you up and is setting you free. Tristan quote the verse a while ago, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Hindi sinabi about the place, situation, feelings, emotion. Sabi ni Lord, no. Freedom depends on the Holy Spirit. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Look at me now. It's not about your situation. It's not about your place. You may be feeling so come up in a certain place na parang unlimited. But here's the thing. When the Holy Spirit invade that place and invade your heart, no matter where you are or what you're going through, you got to get out of that place because God has set you free. Because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. What I love about this church, it's not just about the bigness of the place or the bigness of numbers. We can praise God the best that we can. I can preach the best that I can because you know what? I believe I'm free. Do you believe that you're free? And that's why today God is telling you the first word, the line, he says, when the time's ripe, I answer you. What a beautiful promise. When the time's ripe, I answer you. Ang ganda ng word, ano? Ripe? Sino na ako unawa ng ripe? Sa Tagalog, hinog. Hindi yung katabi mo, ha? <clears throat> But what I'm saying is that when the time's right, I answer you. What a beautiful word, right? Kasi gusto sabihin sa Tagalog, hinog. Can I tell you this? Na ang Panginoon alam niya paano mag-set ng time. Na hindi lahat ng pagpapala, porky prinay mo ngayon, bukas matatanggap mo na. What God is saying, the best blessing take time. What God is saying, it should take a time, a process where it's gonna get right. But what can I declare to you, ito na yung season mo. This is now the season na hinug na ang pagpapala ng Diyos para sa'yo. Kung nag-suffer ka in the past, how can I tell you the good news? It's over now. Nakalipas na yung season, yung defeated season mo, yung suffering season mo. God is telling, this is now a right season. And I invite you to come out where you are because you are free. Oh, what I'm believing right now in my family for you and me is that we now have a ripe season. Sino rito nakakaunawa na pag may tinanim ka, kahit paano nangyayari sa palibot, kung alam mo yung tinanim mo, hinug na at magbubunga na, hindi mo pakikialam ako ang nangyayari sa kahit ano man. Well, how about I can say this? Yung season na meron ka ngayon, hindi affected ng anong nangyayari sa labas because you are under the economy of God. You are under the power of the Lord. And nobody can determine that maliban kay God para sa'yo. Oh, can somebody here accept and embrace that God has blessed you with a ripe season? Even for the church, I believe that we are now set up in a, uh, in a different uh, season for our church. And I'm declaring right now, the vision is this. We are praying that we're going to plant more churches in the times like this. We are praying to start Equipers Pasig after Equipers Marikina. We're going to pray for Equipers Quezon City. We are praying for Equipers Kenta. We are praying for even for Bataan, who's waiting for us. But we, even there's a picture, we're going to start in Equipers Calapan City, Mindoro. We are praying for Novali. So God is expiring. And even right now, kung kailan pandemic, there's an invitation na mag-start tayo ng church sa Japan. Oh, come on, somebody. Sabi ko kaya, pagkatapos itong mga, mga limitation na pwede na mag-biyahe, oh, for sure, I'm big gonna go to Japan. Because there are, during pandemic, there are Filipinos who got saved, mga families na saved, to our online gathering. Oh, just yesterday, what an amazing thing. Nagahanap kami ng lugar na mas malaki. Pero talagang hindi, wala talaga sa Marikina, hindi allowed ng mayor nata. So, and, and I honor that, I am thankful for it. So hanap kami ng hanap, even kahapon, may napuntahan kaming lugar. And then, tinanong namin yung space, it's a good space. But I always believe that when God makes you to connect to someone, it is not an accident, it's not ever a coincidence. So yung pagpasok namin doon, there's a family there na pinaparoon niya, what a beautiful place. And then, sabi ko, 
bro, and then nagkukwento siya on the side note na ikwento niya about sa family niya na kailangan niya umuwi sa Iloilo pero hindi sila makauwi kasi yung mama niya may sakit sa Iloilo so sabi ko, I think we are not here for the place I think we are here to pray for you so Ernest and I pray for that family, pray for that couple, pray for the for the uh, her mother, his mother, and then we just pray. At ngayong umaga, nag-text ka Ernest ngayon, na sabi niya, Pastor John, Ernest, I just want to tell you, thank you for praying for my mom, because my mom get well, he has an improvement today. She, oh, come on somebody, come on somebody. this is now your season what I'm telling you right now that when it's your season nobody can stop you so that is why right season the next verse it says here when the time strive I answer you when victory is due I help you I form you and use you magtataka siguro kayo bakit kayo pinapahintay ng Diyos ito na ang sagot alam nyo na sa simple salita sa Tagalog hindi pa kasi hinog hindi pa panahon. Pero tatanungin mo, bakit ka pinapahintay? Why God's making you wait? What's the purpose of my waiting? Ang tagal ko naghintay, bakit? Ang sagot, this one. The answer is, God is forming something in you that you cannot see. God is forming, shaping something on you. That is why the second one you need to consider is there is a right season. There will always be a reshaping. Which I believe that in a season like this, I wonder what God is reshaping in my life. What God is reshaping in every family. What God is reshaping in our church. But it's what I fully believe. In a time of waiting, God is shaping something. The only problem is this. We always look on what's not working instead of looking on what God is shaping. Ang tinitingnan natin yung hindi nangyayari, hindi natin tinitingnan na may ginagawa ang Diyos hindi natin nakikita, hindi tayo na niyo, oh, wala naman siguro nangyayari. No! Ang daming nangyayari, hindi mo lang nakikita. And even sa buhay mo, sa puso mo, sa isip mo, may ginagawa ang Diyos sa buhay mo. And I just want to thank God for that. There's a reshaping. Because God said, I form you and use you. Now, what's the point of using you? Ito ang point number three. The point number three, sabi niya, I'm gonna form you and use you to reconnect the people with me. The third thing that you need to understand, not only the ripe season, not only the reshaping, but also there will be a reconnection. The purpose of God is to use you so that you can reconnect somebody to God. The purpose of the church is to reconnect you to God. I'm thankful today that we are reconnected to the Lord one more time, that we worship together, not only reconnected to God, reconnected with the church, reconnected with the family, and reconnect, reconnected with each other. Reconnection is very important because kung walang connection, it will be so hard for us to really flourish in life. But here's the thing. The reason why God has blessed you wherever you are is because your influence, God can use you so that that person that you know can be reconnected with God. And that's the good thing. Oh, is it raining? Oh, first rain. Praise God. Amen. Come on. Reconnected. And it says in the word, not only reconnect, but also to put the land in order to resettle families on the ruined properties. So the next thing is not only reconnect, but also to reset. Reset. Oh, this is an important thing. Come on, be with me now. Reset. I believe that the, the first in-person gathering that we have today is an opportunity a privilege for us so that we can start over again. Yung ba makapagsimula ulit? Any one of you who is happy that God is a God of a new beginning? Na may bagong simula palagi si Lord. And today you need to understand that God wants to reset your life. God wants to give you a new beginning. One time nasira yung phone ko and then my phone is that I'm trying to fix it. So ang ginagawa ko is that, siguro dagdagan ko ng app, 
So I put an app. I tried to update it. So hindi na gumiyare. It's, it's not working. So ko bakit kaya hindi ako makapag-transfer sa sa something? And it's like something's wrong with my phone. Nilagyan ko ng mga apps. They didn't work. I tried to update. Hindi nag nag nagpo-push through yung updating. And so I I bring it to the shop. And pinatingnan ko. And then sabi ng shop, sir, simple lang ang problem. Hindi mo kailangan magbayad ng marami. Actually, all you need to do is to reset. Reset your phone. What if I'm telling you right now, you're trying to fix your life to by putting some new things in your life and still not working. You try to put another thing in your life and still not working. What if I tell you today that the answer of your problem or what you're praying for is when you reset your life, when you start with God again, when you come to the Lord and repent and reset. Oh, I love that word. Reset and repent. Anyone who knows the word pent? Anyone who knows the word pent? Saan nyo nadinig yung pent? There you go, penthouse. Nasaan ang penthouse? Come on, nasaan ang penthouse? Baba? Saan? Sa pinakataas, sa pinakatuktok, pent. So if I say repent, if I say repent, God is telling you, bumalik ka sa taas. Oh my goodness. What God is saying, balik ka ulit kay Lord. Balik ka sa taas because you are not meant to be in a corner. You are not meant to be in darkness. You are not meant to be in bottom. God is telling you, I gotta lift you up. But you need to reset so that I can put you back where you are. And there will be a reset. But the last one is this. There will be a reset because he said, Tell prisoners, come on out, you're free, and those huddle in fear, but God is saying there will be a release. Oh, this is beautiful. Don't miss this. There will be a release. I pray that today somebody can make a brand new start. I pray that today, and how it's gonna happen, how it will happen. Look at me now. The way to happen the reset is this release. Release. Because God cannot reset something in your life if you don't release. Because here's the thing. Ano yung number one? Right. Ripe season. Right? God is bringing you to a ripe season. Pero mostly sa Israelites, kaya hindi nag-work out yung ripe season, is because pinalaya sila rin ng Lord, pero binitbit pa rin nila yung mga bagay nila nung sila ay mga slaves pa. Dala nila papunta doon sa bagong bansa, sa bagong season, sa bagong blessing. Can I encourage you today? It's not worth it na dalhin mo yung mga lumang bagay sa bagong mong season. What God is telling you, don't bring the baggages, don't bring the old issues, don't bring the negativity, don't bring the past pains into your new season because you're gonna waste your new season. But today, I'm declaring that the reason why you are here today on Sunday is because you are telling nobody can hold me back. I'm gonna go and praise and worship the Lord on Sunday because I am free in Jesus' name. But today, I want to declare that this will be a day of release and a day of reset. This is the way to live life to the fullest. Binigyan ka nila ng bagong season. Kung alin yung bagahe mo, mga nakaraan mo, iwanan mo. Let it go. Kung nasaktan ka, huwag nang dalhin. Kasi pag dinala mo yung pain sa bago mong season, you may spoil the new season. Well, how about this? If you still carry the pain from your old relationship, and bring it to the new season of a new relationship, who knows that you're going to spoil the new one? Who knows that if you're going to bring the old pain and failures from your past career and still bring it on a new career that you have, who knows that you will affect the career that you have right now? What I'm trying to say, this is the time for you to let go all the baggages, all the pains, if you have to forgive others. How about this? How about forgive yourself? How about letting it go? Because God is saying for you, come on. But God is saying, you're free now. You're free. I set you free. Well, how did I know that I am free? 
Oh, hear me out. The reason, the, the way that I know that I'm free is because of this. Somebody bought my freedom. Somebody secured my freedom. I didn't have to do something, but Jesus Christ on the cross paid for my sins, and he said, it is finished. It is done. What God is saying, I have now set you free. So your freedom that been against the ark in the Lord, nobody can stop it. Even Satan cannot stop it. Even the things of this world cannot stop it. What God is saying, I have secured your freedom, but all you have to do is, come on, come on now. Come on out and you got to enjoy life to the fullest. And God is saying to others, to us, He said that you are now set free. If you are huddled in fear, come on out. This is now your season. Oh, I'm preaching to somebody today that this is now your season. This is now a time of reset and this is a time of release. I'm wondering today what you're going to release. That's so good. You see me out? When you release what's in your hands, God will release what's in His hands. Wow. Pili. Sabi ko nga eh, anong, anong gagawin mo dyan? Ba't mo kinikip yan? What's the point of taking good care of it when it's hurting you? But today what God is saying, come on, release it to me. And I'm going to release what's in my hands. I'm wondering today what you're going to release for the Lord ngayong araw na to. Make it a momentous day for our first in-person gathering that you're going to release whatever is bothering in your heart. If that's worry, anxiety, or whatever that is, you release it to the Lord. And I declare that today, God is saying to us that He is giving you a new beginning and a new start. And if that's you, I'm inviting you that today you reset the bottle. Push the bottle. Let the Holy Spirit reset you again and start over again. God is telling you right now that He is doing a new thing through you and that is you. And if that is you, I want to invite everybody to all stand up right now. And as we pray and as we worship Him and as we thank the Lord for today. Oh, come on out because you're free. Come on out. And I'm thankful to the Lord that you make a decision today that this day, Sunday, I'll be in the church. Oh, today, you have applied it. Even before coming here, the message is already for you. You came out because you're believing your faith. But today, let's press the reset button. Who among you here, you're saying, I gotta start over again. Sisimula ako ulit. This is my new year, a new beginning. So come on, can I invite everybody right now to lift your hands and praise the Lord as we sing for Him. Here we go. I want to pray for you. I want to minister to you. I miss you guys. And I just want to declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that there's a wind blowing to your direction, blowing to your path, blowing to wherever you are going. And I pray for someone who went astray from the Lord. I pray that today is your revival day. Today is your day that you come back to the Lord. And I pray in the name of Jesus that today a new start and your beginning. And whatever in your heart, I pray, there will be a release. Nakamas po kayo, but I pray that in that mass, inside that mass, you are breathing a new thing, that God is giving you a new start and a release for everything. So right now, I pray in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray for every family. I pray for every soul right here. I pray for every person, the favor and the blessing of the Lord. 
the name of Jesus right now. Come on, let's start worshiping the Lord in your own words. Come on, come on, speak, speak. Call, collect somebody and not for the first time now. Matal kayo sa church. I want to talk to you for a while. God is a purpose why you're here. Kung bakit narito po kayo. At may plano si God para sa iyo. Ang plano ni God para sa iyo is to set you free. To give you true freedom. And that freedom can only be found in Jesus. And Jesus can set you free today from your sins, from the wages of sin. He can give you a new life. And I pray that today is a new start for you. Sa aming bisita, I pray na ito'y bagong simula para sa'yo. At kung sino man dito ang nais magsimula ulit, kasama ang Panginoon, na nasa puso mo ang Panginoon. If that's you, if you want to receive Jesus Christ in your heart, pwede po ba pakitas ang kamay so that I can pray for you. There's a hand at the back. Praise God. One, two, three. Praise the Lord. Five. Praise God. There's another one there. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, church. Can we clap our hands for those people who are lifting their hands? To all our VIPs, again, a guide you in prayer. Church, samahan natin sila sa pag-pray ng prayer na to. Sumunod po sa prayer yung mga nais magsimula ng bagong buhay kay Lord. And this is a prayer. You follow me. Lord, salamat po na binigyan mo ako ng bagong simula. Sa araw na to, binubuksan ko po ang aking puso at binibigay ko sa iyo lahat ng aking pagkakamali at pagkukulang. Pero sa araw na to, ay bagong simula ng bagong buhay. Tinatanggap kita sa aking puso bilang aking tagapagligtas. Salamat Panginoon sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and Amen. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We welcome you to church. We love to chat with you. At maging bilog po kayo sa aming mga e-groups and e-hubs. But we welcome you. But para sa ating church, come on. Sa ating lahat, tayo nagpapasalamat sa araw na ito ng salita ng Diyos ay napakinggan mo not only online but also in person. Right now, where you're standing, I believe that's a push button. A spiritual push button. Where you're standing is a favor ground. Yes. That you are saying to the Lord, Lord, I came here because I know you favored me and you set me free. Papasalamat ako kay Lord yung mga pinagaling this past year. Si, si Ansa, uh, person na to is that pinunta ako sa bahay talagang iba-iba ang kanyang, ang kanyang condition but I praise God na nandito kayo kasama kay si Ana I, I thank the Lord grabe si Lord ang um, bait ni Lord and that's why today I think God is worthy na pasalamatan natin siya and you are saying Lord itong buhay na to Lord kung ano ang purpose niyo sa buhay ko Lord gamitin niyo pa ako in a way that I gonna reconnect people with you Lord Come on, pray with me, pray with me. Lord, Father God, I'm coming to you, Lord. I'm, I'm resetting my life. Use me, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord, for shaping me. Yes. There may be times that I may not understand it, but today I now understand it, that you shape me with a purpose. I don't have to be somebody else. I have to be just me, because you shape me as me. So today, Lord, use me, everything that you've given me, even my stories, my failures in the past, use me, all of me, Lord. Today, Lord, I'm going to go out from this place free. I'm no longer carrying any baggage. I am carrying your grace and I'm carrying your freedom. Father God, we praise you as we keep on singing with this song. Here we go. Come on. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. 